guys it's Ava welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are brand new here so as you can see I'm outside and it is like extremely windy out today but basically today I'm filming a behind the scenes of how I take my Instagram photos and also how I edit them so normally if it wasn't corona I would go and like find a location to take my Instagram photos but now I've kind of just been taking them like around the house and honestly the main trick that I use is taking a bunch of photos in one day and just like changing your outfit so today I'm going to be taking a bunch of photos and i'm going to show you guys how i edit them and i'll also show you guys a little bit behind the scenes but not too much so i hope you guys enjoy and keep watching just finished taking photos it was literally so windy out so in the video you're gonna hear a lot of wind so don't mind that um so basically this video like I'm I'll just like say it again but this video is going to be a how I edit my Instagram photos and a little bit behind the scenes of how I do it so before I start, if it wasn't for Corona, I would try and go out and take Instagram photos and go to like a specific location and take some photos. But since it is Corona, I've been staying in. So I've been just taking photos like around my house or like close to my house kind of thing. So basically my main tip that I have for you guys is to take several photos in one day. It just makes it so much easier because it's a lot to take these photos like getting ready, getting the outfits together, you know, taking the actual pictures. So um, I don't know about you guys, but when I get all like dolled up and stuff, I want to take multiple sets of pictures and stuff. So I will try and take as many photos as I can. So I think today I did like seven different outfits. Like I um, took pictures in like seven different outfits. And so usually what I do is one day I set aside for taking the Instagram photos and then another day I set aside for just like organizing and editing. So going on to the editing part of my Instagram photos, lately I've been trying to use more natural lighting. So like taking pictures in the sun or taking pictures outside with like nicer backgrounds. So I don't have to edit a lot because personally I like when photos are natural and not like edited a ton so um i will try and do that so in this video i'm going to show you guys basically how i edit what apps i use and when i do edit my photos what i do and how i do it so if you want to see me edit my instagram photos and a little bit behind the scenes then keep watching okay so i'm going to show you guys basically how i edit and sorry i'm in my bathroom right now the lighting in my room was horrible and it's not that much better in here so we're just gonna like work with what we have so basically, I use a few apps. So the first app that I use is Visco. About two years ago, I bought all of the filters. I think it was like $20, which is so worth it because I use them literally constantly. So I use Visco, this app called Tezza, T-E-Z-Z-A. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And then a new app that I've discovered from another YouTuber. Um, it's the U-N-U-M, U-N-U-M app. So it's Unum? I don't know how to say that. I just probably butchered that name, but whatever. So those are the three apps that I use. So basically what I do is first, and I'm also going to do a screen recording of this. So I'm going to start the recording now so I don't forget. Um, So I will be screen record recording and I'll probably have it somewhere here. So I'm going to send like more here so it could go here. So basically what I do is I will go on to my visco and i'm just gonna pick like any photo so okay so i've okay so let's say i pick this one to edit so basically what i will do and this photo i don't really want to change a lot because i really like the lighting in it and the sun so sometimes i usually just play around with like the exposure like i'll bring it down a little bit or i'll bring it up a little bit and then i'll go to like contrast and it lightens my sweatshirt a little bit and then um, saturation I do really like too. I feel like it makes the picture a little bit more brighter. And also like from the winter I've been trying to get like a little bit of a darker more neutral feed. But now that it's like coming up to spring I want to try and get like a more um, 
like bright and fun and then like sometimes I play around with the tone which is the highlights and also the shadows of the photo so basically visco um is kind of is super fun to use and super easy too and then as you can see here I have all these effects which is super helpful when editing a photo so then I will then go into Tezza. Act before I go to Visco, I usually go on to Tezza because I then will go look at the photos and do all that. So let's just say then I picked this photo. So I have this photo right here. And basically my go-to filter on this app is called Vintage. I just love the way it makes some photos look. It makes them have like a more like like I don't know how to describe it but it has like a more like whiter tone and it makes it look like the pictures are always taken in the summer which I love absolutely so I'm going to show you guys a different picture actually just so you get a better visual so I actually took this photo or something like this and basically when you put the vintage it just gives it like that different look which I actually really like a lot um so I love the app Tessa I literally use it all the time especially in the summer i feel like it works better with summer pictures not really like your winter pictures it works so good in the summer so then after i have edited the photo i will then go on to the unum app and as you can see here okay so this app is like going to be my new favorite app so basically what you do is you can select photos and add as many photos as you want to your instagram page and then you could see what they look like before you actually post it because some people like to do that and just make sure that their feed flows super nice so i personally like to do that and i try and keep like a really nice looking feed so basically as you could see the ones with the little instagram logo in the corner of the photo means that i have already um posted those photos and then as you can see the ones without it i'm going to post eventually but i'm waiting for the right time to post them and as i get more pictures to post i will keep adding them in here and basically what you could do is i'll show you you can like so you swap photos around or you could just like drag the photo there's a way to like drag it but um basically i just got this app and i'm like new to it so i've kind of been just like playing around with it and honestly, I love this app so much because it helps me, like, see. Because, like I mentioned, I like to have, like, an aesthetically pleasing feed. So, I like everything to flow and be nice. And sometimes I add, like, quotes, which I don't have any added on here. But um, I'm going to, like, as I know, as I see photos I want to post or as I take photos that I want to post, I just add them in here. And then um, I play around with them. I swap things out and things like that. So, basically that's really all i do for editing my instagram photos i don't go too crazy with it because like i said i personally like when my photos are like in natural lighting or outside or just like they look super nice without like being edited so i personally like you know outside pictures in the sun things like that so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'm sorry if this video was short i would have filmed more outside but it was super windy out today i literally picked the worst day to film this video it was so windy out and so hard to film but i'm glad i filmed it because it was super fun filming it i had my little brother help me um take the pictures because i needed like another person i couldn't like do it all myself so i had him help me so shout out to my little bro ash so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please like this video and also subscribe down below and don't forget once i hit a thousand subscribers i will be doing a giveaway so stay tuned for that i'm hoping to reach my goal pretty soon um yeah, so I have many videos explaining that. The giveaway rules are also down below in the description. And like I said, please like this video and subscribe and come back for more. Peace.